Good morning from beautiful Belleville. We're in Shelby's parents' driveway and we got some serious work to do because I plan on removing the shower, the bathroom sink, and replacing all of that with effective, useful storage for our big things like backpacks and uh, skateboards and the lot. So um, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Mainly right now is just tearing out all the stuff that uh, was there before, so check this out. So here's the toilet, and this is the shower bed. Now effectively this was just a storage space because every time you put something into it, it's so delicate, 90s plastic, that it just shatters and cracks. So, I mean, no real loss there, but we're gonna gut all of that out. We're gonna try and keep the toilet as uh, intact as possible, and try to make a nice shelving unit that starts right there. It goes all the way up, and we gotta cut that thing up too. All right, that was distinctly unpleasant, but the casing's out, mostly. You can see I kinda left a piece behind. So, the sink is gone. I've got the hoses right here. They're going to mount up, and I want to mount it right here somewhere so that when you close the door, it'll kind of just be up there and you have to twist the knobs and the hose will wrap around or something, I don't know. Over here, this is, uh, this is it. This is where the shower was, and that's the toilet. So, that's actually the entire tank. That's the whole thing. So you can see that the capacity is not huge, but, you know, um, it's good for emergencies. That, that I think, is like a... 20 to 30 potty breaks, little peas, little peas, you'll be fine, but uh, any more than that, and, and you know, there's no electronics in there, there's nothing to tell you how full it is or anything, so you just kind of got to guess about every two, three weeks, we use it only when we really need to, and about every two weeks at them too, so that's it, just the whole thing, and that's all going to be shelving, all the way up. We've got all of our wood for the shelving now. Um, so we need to start making some stencils. I've got this giant piece of cardboard and taped together. This is going to be a template for us to mess around with in the van to get just the right fitting. Because in a van, nothing is straight. So measure a thousand times, cut once. I think that's the rule. Welcome to day two of the closet build. We have made a stencil. We've cut it out. We're going to put the main supporting wall now for the uh, shelving unit. This is probably the hardest part. And after that, smooth sailing. Just have to manage to get it into place without having to tear out every other piece of furniture in this van. But given the oh, fact that it's in there. the exact height of the van, it's not really going to work um, as smoothly as I'd like. So, All right, let's get a progress report. Come check us out. So there is the toilet in all of its majesty, but look how look I did the box okay. down here and it's like really stable. Good. So the toilet's really stable now. As opposed to the plastic it was before. And there's the shelf. Yeah. And you can put like things in there. I haven't really figured out how it all fits in there organized wise, but I know that the pelican case is going down there and I've got a seatbelt for latch. Yep, yeah, perfect. And then check it out over here. This is where all the other stuff's gonna go. What are you gonna do here? This is just like yoga mat and oh, right. the seatbelt goes in and clamps to that. Right. And that's it. And there's this gonna go. That is gonna mount right there once I get that. I have one elbow joint, I need another one. And then it mounts right there. And then you just turn the knobs and hook up the shower head to the door frame. And you have outdoor shower. Canada, well, Ontario takes a lot longer to bloom than maybe like where we were down in DC a couple weeks ago. And it was all those flowers everywhere. Everything's mostly still very dead here. This is my local leather spot. I got good stuff. Hope they're open today. Yeah, they're open. Lots of leather. Lots of leather. I'm gonna get some straps for the stuff in the van. 
and get some leather here just to pack the straps. Should do the trick. For the Americans in the audience, Canadian Tire is kind of like a hardware store meets a bike store, automotive store, and it's all over. Got kind of a Walmart vibe to it, a little bit smaller. Anyway, they're all over Canada. And... Oh, with this color, but it's not gonna be that strong as I'm gonna whitewash it. It's still pretty cool. And the big reveal. <laughs> it looks just like the other color. Yeah. It's gonna dry it and then make sure that's dry exactly the same. It should dry it. Got some of that sweet, sweet Canadian tire money. Put that in the bank. It's coming back to the van. Look at these losers sitting over here by the van. You damn kids, get off my lawn. Hey. Get off my lawn. I won't do it. It's my house. What did you pick? I didn't even get to see. Did you buy paint? Yep. And you bought it without me and didn't even let me choose? Yep. This is my home too. Not anymore. Okay, so now that we have the shelves built, I have to worry about um, painting and sealing them in. Now, I didn't want to go with a complete paint job on this because the wood is kind of nice. So instead, I'm going to do a kind of a whitewash, but with a slight blue tinge in keeping with the Willy the Whale motif that we got going on here. And uh, then I'm going to use some clear sealer and uh, just try and seal it in so it doesn't stain up in the, in the future. Again, this is quick and easy. I've never done a whitewash before, so... Uh, Eh, looks pretty easy. What could go wrong? So the deal with whitewashing is it's watered down paint. I've done 50-50 and then you just lay it on and after a minute or two you wipe it off again with a wet rag. And that does the trick. Okay, so uh, I didn't record there for a bit because I was freaking out, but starting, I'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's a little freaky at first because it just looks like you're globbing paint everywhere, but um, when you start really rubbing, and I mean it's not easy work, you've got to really rub this stuff, really, really get into it. Um, you know, it, it starts coming out. The, the, the rag is disgusting, but... Uh, you can start seeing the wood grain again, and uh, the color is actually not bad. And as it dries, it looks better and better. So, whew, I gotta keep going though. Gotta move quick because this stuff dries quickly. As I'm going, if there's areas I've missed where there's a little dry, I'll just add dabs of paint and then I will attack it right away with the rag, and it will usually blend in pretty good with everything else. It's just a matter of working it into the grain, so you got to go with the grain, definitely. As I'm learning, definitely with the grain. Sometimes I confuse the wood grain changing for not putting enough paint, but that's actually because a different shade of wood is being laid over top and has been chopped like that in the plywood, so that's actually just the way it's going to look. I don't care what anybody says, that stuff is not easy and those Pinterest moms must be like super jacked because I'm sweating big time. But it's done, light at the end of the tunnel, it looks fantastic. Okay. Sealer's on, it's drying, it smells like crap, but it's gonna look great. 
Again, I want to stress that there was probably like a better, you know, I could have done a stain and a sealer that was much better quality and done all that. But this is like a camper van and I don't really care that much. And it was really cheap, it was really fast, and now I have a place to store my stuff. All I need is next to make leather straps to hold everything in. This is a lot more complicated than I imagined at first. All right, now we gotta do straps. This is the leather I'm working with right here. And these are the snap punches, the fitter and anvil, and the punch to punch holes. So here we go. So the main purpose of the straps is just to hold anything in on major bumps. Um, it doesn't have to be super, super strong. So these snaps are actually more than enough. Um, they're pretty cool. And they just snap right back into place. Leather's nice quality, it'll wear nicely and give it some character. So in total, here's the finished product and one nicely finished white wash, blue wash wood. Shelving, straps to hold it all in. And that's it, no more shower. I even uh, installed a seat belt down here to hold my skateboard and behind that is the Pelican case. Nice and tight. So here I am sitting on the toilet. The shelving has taken up a lot of the space and as you can see from my shoulders, there's not a whole lot of wiggle room in here, but I can sit down, I can use my bathroom and uh, I don't have to give up any extra space. This is the minimum amount of space, basically, I need for a toilet. Now I wanna start with this build that this is a cheap camper van, and I wanted it to be functional, I wanted it to be fairly strong, but I didn't want it to be very expensive. This is kind of the best bang for your buck you can do, just a little bit of plywood, finish it off sort of nice, make it look pretty good, but more than anything, it's purpose made for our gear. So, now that the back room is all sorted out, I gotta move up front and take care of the couch and the chairs and the rest of the stuff. So, yeah, that'll be, Coming up soon. Thanks for watching.